What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before in this gameplay, I am rolling with Last King, and also in this gameplay, guys, I somehow managed to merc. I hate this stage, guys. I literally hate it. I don't like Hydro at all, but somehow, some way, I managed to get the Warthog. I don't know how I did it, guys. I don't know how the hell I did it, but it just happened naturally. I don't know, everything just fell into place. So make sure you leave a like for the gameplay, because goddamn, it's just tremendous. So the topic of today, guys, is how Black Ops 2 killed over 100,000 clans. Maybe like a month after release. Because so many clans have noticed changes on their Call of Duty Elite page. Now, let's start off with this. This is going to cause like a chain reaction. Alright, what did not transfer over from Modern Warfare 3 to Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the clans? The call signs. The call signs were not transferred over to Black Ops 2. There was no DLC or nothing for it. They did not focus on clans of Call of Duty. So what did this cause? What, does so, what did so many people thought right after they knew uh, the call signs were not going to be carried over? Well... The call signs for the clans uh, was some kind of a motive, you know, that's what motivate players from Call of Duty to start doing clan ops. So now that you don't have the call or anything, so less uh, clan members are going to do clan ops because, you know, there's, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to fight for. So that caused like a little chain reaction right there, you know. No call signs to fight for, so what do we do clan ops for? And then another thing they took away from your clan page was the comment section why the f oh my god can somebody slap the owner or the CEO of that Call of Duty Elite page right now with a brick that guy needs to be slapped with a brick right now because why the hell will you take away the communication between the clan members of a clan page you know of whatever clan you know why would they take it away I mean you don't know if some clan members live like in Australia in Europe or in Canada or in the US you know so there's like a lot of players that live around the world not everybody lives together and they all log in together no not all the time so why would they take it away what was the motive what there's like too much spam going on between each other's members that you know Call of Duty said like oh we're taking it away because we cannot handle the spam you know fuck you like why would they do it Somebody must have an answer. The owner, the CEO, whoever the fuck you know handles Call of Duty Elite, better gives us give us an answer on why they took away the comment section of the Call of Duty Elite clan page. Like if you go to your clan page right now, guys, go to your clan page right now. Now, look at your clan. Even though you have been there over three weeks, over a month, for the longest time since day one, you know, you still cannot see the comment section. You can't. I don't know why they took it away. Why would they took it take it away? So members are being lost because they cannot communicate to the leader through there. Because uh, you know, not always they're going to be logging on together at the same time. So that's killing the mood. So they killed the motive. They killed the mood. So they also going to be killing the interest of joining a clan. Because it's not worth it. Because you're not going to get call signs. You're not going to get emblems. You're not going to get, uh, you know, your reputation up. Because you, many people on the online world will not be able to see your level of your clan. So, what the fuck? Why, why join a clan? Why join a clan if you're not going to get any respect from it? You're not going to gain anything from it. You're not going to get new call signs or nothing. So, joining a clan is worthless in Black Ops 2. Joining a clan in Modern Warfare 3... It's freaking awesome because you're going to be able to get new call signs. You're going to be able to get new emblems. You know, a lot of people are going to be able to see your level of your clan. People are going to be like, whoa, bro, can I join your clan? You're going to get like tons of messages. Like back in the day, me, when I was in Damage Inc. And when I was like around level 49 or level 48, uh, level 30 sometimes, you know, I would get tons of messages. People saying like, hey, bro, let me join your clan. Hey, bro, you know, tell your leader to uh, let me join you. And some people thought I was a leader at times. But yeah, you know, I got like tons of messages from people saying, you know, hey, let me join your clan because you're, like, you're this high level. So I thought, you know, you're cool and stuff like that. And I'm a good player and stuff. So why would it take all that feature away from the clans? Why would it take it away? They can't afford it. 
that can't afford it, like literally you can't afford it. Like, use the money you gain from uh, you know the season pass to Call of Duty Elite. You know, Call of Duty, uh, the Call of Duty workers are dumb. They don't know what the fuck to do. They don't know how to manage the stuff here. <sighs> you know, they need to hire new workers. It's just like the WWE. I mean, the, the, literally the Call of Duty series is crumbling, and they don't know what the hell to take in. What the hell? They don't know what to take out. Like, <sighs> they need new management. Like literally. They need some college, you know, students that literally can pick up the game and, you know, say, this one I'm going to add, and this one. So, uh, so yeah, guys, those were the three big reasons why Call of Duty Elite died and why and how did Black Ops 2 killed uh, the clans that carried over from Modern Warfare 3. Because no call signs, no comment section in the clan, in the clan page. And no, it doesn't show your levels on, you know, on your call sign from your clan in the multiplayer online world. What, is there going to be an update later on? Like maybe in July? How late? <laughs> About that? That's that's too late, bro. I mean, oh my god, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is just in literally too much trouble, too much, you know, you know, problems with this game. They just messed it up big time. So, uh, so yeah, guys, that's all I want to talk about right now. Hopefully, you guys understand. Make sure you share this video, you know, to other clan uh, members of yours or something. I don't know. Never mind. Do not share it, guys. Do not share this to the other, uh, to your members, because you know, people are gonna want to quit. Because you know, there's nothing to fight for. There's nothing to, uh, you know, gain from being in a clan. So, um, so yeah, that's why some clans are considered a joke nowadays. Because you know, there's nothing to gain from it. Hmm. On only the yellow clan tag, and that's it, <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, guys, that's all I want to talk about. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, leave your opinion, and leave one of your I don't know another reason. Leave another reason on how you know Black Ops 2 killed clans. So this is all for now, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Enjoy your day.